welcome back to my channel, Brian LaForidian. I'm back from the shave, but I'm not in my shave den normally. I'm actually in my spare bathroom, my daughter's bathroom for this shave. I got tagged for the Candlelight Shave Challenge by She Shaves with Jill, so I'm in here doing the shave. My other bathroom actually has a big window that faces the west. You know, I live I live in on um, the southwest part of Florida, so it actually faces out west. So the sun is just bright in my bathroom, so I had to go in this bathroom to do the shave challenge. But anyway, I was tagged by Jill. Thank you, Jill, for tagging me. Challenge accepted. So this shave is, you have to shave by candlelight, and I had to find a couple candles to do the shave because I don't own any candles. These candles are for my wife. She loves candles. She loves Yankee candles. So I grabbed a couple of her Yankee candles for the shave, and she was kind of... What are like, what yeah, what what the hell are you doing? So anyway, she just wondering what I was doing for the shave. So I just told her I was doing a shave tag candlelight challenge. And she's like, okay, well just borrow your candles, just make sure you don't make sure you don't burn them all the way down to the very bottoms for the shave, which I should not, hopefully not. But anyway, let me go wash my face, guys. I got about a day and a gra about a day and a half the growth on my face. Oh, let me, let me tell you what I'm using. So razor I'm using for my shave is gonna be my Parker 87R, so this is basically a clone of the Gillette British Aristocrat. So that razor I'm actually looking for, I'm hoping to find one eventually, but I got the next best thing which is a clone of it, and Parker did a great job. This is a turn to open razor, and I do have a blade loaded in there, which is the, part, which is the uh, Persona Platinum Blade. So I'll be using that blade for the first use. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty dark in here. And the soap I'm using is one of my favorite soaps I've used in a while. And it's not made anymore. It's by Bearshire Man Lather. So this is the lavender version of their soap. And it is, to me, one of the best smelling lavender soaps out there. That's not hope. That's unfortunately not made anymore. But man, I love the scent of the soap. Great, great scent. And the brush I'm using is one of my newer, newly acquired brushes. My AP Shave Co. Summer Brush Handle, or the Hawk, with the Sinbad 26mm knot. So, one of my favorite brushes to use lately. I love this brush. It's been getting like a lot, a lot of uses just for my, all my shaves lately. So, this will be my brush for the shave. So guys, let me wash my face. And I did take a shower, so my hair is probably crazy. You can't, well, thank God I'm doing it in candlelight. You can't see it. My hair is crazy, so let me go ahead and um, rinse my face, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back from the first face lather here. Got the brush lit up with the uh, Barrister Man Lather Lavender. I had to think for a second. Let me go ahead and do that first face lather here. So today is the day after the 4th of July. And I hope you guys had a good 4th of July weekend so far. It's running pretty fast this summer with all the stuff going on. But I had to work yesterday. I was actually on call at where I work at. So I wasn't unable to really celebrate the 4th of July. But I did see a lot of fireworks on my way home from work, so that was pretty cool. There was no fireworks displays from the county or from the city where I live at, so a lot of people took their fireworks matter in their own hands and they had their own displays. So in Florida, I'm not sure where you guys are from, but in Florida you can buy fireworks uh, pretty much on every street corner because this time of year they sell fireworks about every, about, I'll say, I'd say during the 4th of July, uh, New Year's, they sell fireworks about a week before these big tents actually set up, start setting up on the street corners, and, you can, and they sell fireworks. So it is still legal in Florida to do that. So, so everybody was buying their own fireworks for their own display, and I was fortunately able to get off get off of work in time to see that. So that's pretty cool. And there was a lot of fireworks out there last night, and you might hear some in the background because people are still trying to use up what they bought for yesterday. 
All right, so this soap is awesome soap. This is Barrister Man. This is like their budget line, the lather. And I don't know why they don't make it anymore, but man, this stuff is awesome. I actually liked a lot of the scents from this line more so than their regular scents. But I mean, you guys can see that lather, it's pretty thick. It is a thirsty soap, so I had to add a little bit more water to the brush, but man, once you get that lather dialed in, it definitely explodes off the brush. And the lavender scent is awesome, by the way. So I hope you guys had a good 4th of July. This video is hopefully gonna be going up tonight on Sunday. I'll try to post it on Sunday tonight, if not tomorrow, on Monday. Got like this lather up my lips. It's hard to see in here, so I'm actually eating the lather, so. All right, guys, Parker 87R, uh, Gillette Aristocrat British version clone, first pass with the Persona Platinum Blade. And hopefully I can do this shave without cutting myself. I was gonna do this shave, I thought about doing it with a, with a straight razor, but. I'm still learning, so it wouldn't be wise to do that. Do this shave, do that kind of shave in the dark here with a can light, because my face would be all cut up. And it's kind of hard not to do it with this with a safety razor. But definitely nice pass with this A7R. So this razor is a open turn to open, and they made it basically to emulate the uh, Gillette British Aristocrat. And it looks really, really close to what, what that looks like, that razor. And believe it or not, this is a budget razor, so you can find this for like 30 bucks, I think on Amazon or uh, different websites online. So great value. And it is made out of brass. It is pretty decent construction for for a razor like this where you can, that you can buy off the internet. And to me, Parker makes great razors. I love the variant. I heard their slant is awesome. They released a slant about last year, I believe. But I do love the way the slants actually shave because I have the PAA Bakelite slant. I also have the Razor Rock uh, 37 German slant. And I get some really close shaves with, with those slant razors. I'm getting a close shave with this one right now. All right, guys, that's the first pass. No blood yet, thank goodness. Let me rinse my face, be right back. All right, guys, back for my second pass, my second face lather. And so far, I don't see any blood. I don't feel any of the nicks. So that's a good thing right here for this kind of shave. So let me do that second face lather here. And this soap is really producing lather pretty easily. Yeah, once you get the right amount of water in your brush with this bare serum man soap, you get some great lathers. Whether you're face lathering or doing bowl lather, man, you get some really great lathers from the soap. It's funny because I saw a couple other people doing can light shaves today on their videos. And I was actually tagged by Jill. I think I believe she did hers before the weekend, so 
I told her I would do mine this, this weekend if I could. But between work and being very pretty busy, I'm glad to squeeze it in right now, get this done with. But man, this soap is nice and thick lather, nice and slick. Yeah, so I couldn't pick a better soap for this challenge. All right, let me go against across the grain with this razor here. So it wasn't 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 too hard to find candles for this challenge because my wife has a bunch of them. She's a big candle connoisseur or aficionado, if you can call it that. She loves her candles, and I've we got candles from Yankee Candle from Pierce. I think what's that? What's that? Pier One actually, Pier One. And also Bath and Body Works. So she's got candles from those places. And that's all she wants for her gifts for her birthday and and Christmas. She wants me to always include a candle, so I always buy her candles. But I can tell you what, these Yankee candles, when they first came out, like a few years ago, you can really smell the scent. Like they were pretty strong. Like one candle you can smell the scent like two or three rooms away in your, in your house. But lately, when they've been making these candles, you buy a new candle from your candle, you light it up and you can barely smell it in the, in the room that you're in, so. So I don't know if they're getting a little bit cheap with the uh, essential oils, you know, adding that stuff to the wax at all, but man, it just seems like the candles aren't as strong with the empty candles as they, as they were in the past. And meanwhile, other candle manufacturers like the ones that are made for um, Pier 1 and Bath and Body Works, those things are super, super concentrated. You can smell those things. You can, you can probably light one in your house and smell it about a block away. And they really smell good. Some of those candles, especially ones from Bath and Body Works. Some of the ones are kind of geared toward men now, which is kind of cool. So you can find some that smell like your car, um, you know, any kind of masculine scent, but different ones. I believe they have one there. It smells just like the uh, Co Bigelow cream that, you know, that eucalyptus green cream. I believe that a candle, it smells just like that for, you know, for, um, for men. I haven't bought that one yet, but maybe I will buy that pretty soon. All right, guys, that's my second pass, and I don't see any blood, so hopefully I won't see a lot of blood when I, when I turn the lights on behind me, but let me rinse my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back for my last pass with the uh, last face leather here with this brush, the Barrister Man Lather Lavender, and I got plenty of lather on this brush. Looks like... Probably do two more passes if I wanted to. Yeah, so I only load, only loaded this brush for about 25 seconds. And this is the lather I get. Plenty of lather. So I don't know why they stopped making this line. This line is awesome. This is like their budget line, which I I love. The other scent they had was Aqua, I think. They had an Aqua version of the lather, lather, bear man soap. And that one smells really nice. Nice and masculine type scent. Kind of like a clone scent, which I like. I had, that, I had that one, but I used it all up, so they don't make it anymore, so I can't get it anymore. So I'm stuck with this lavender for, until this is gone. So if you guys are listening, Bear Sir Man, please bring this stuff back. Or bring something like back like this, because this stuff is awesome. 
All right, guys, let me go against the green with the A7R. Make sure this sucker is tight, is locked in tight. I remember shaving before with this razor and I didn't have it completely screwed in and it was loose. It actually came loose and when I was going against the grain, I almost cut myself. So I gotta be careful, make sure this thing is screwed on really good with the blade. Yeah, definitely, definitely great shave. Definitely slick soap. Lots of cushion in this soap, which I love. Yeah, for a soap not having much stuff in it, I mean, this is like, I want to say this is a towel-based soap. Can't really read in the dark, but, or it might be even a vegan soap, but for not having any kind of stuff like duck fat or, or goat's milk, this stuff is pretty awesome formula for a shave soap. But nice lavender scent. So hope you guys had a good week so far, weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed your barbecue just today. Um, spend time with your family on the 4th of July. A lot of people out there out and about beaches and parks. Uh, hopefully they're practicing safe social distancing in Florida here. Yeah, our numbers have been going up like a lot. Probably too much right now. I've been pretty much trying to stay much much as I can possibly home or or not trying to trying to avoid the stores as much at least right now my hospital I work at we are actually the hospitals in my county where the county where I work at we're out of I they're out of ICU beds so they're basically out of beds for people that have COVID that are sick so they have to divert them to another county over or, or you know the county over, which is Hillsboro, or Pasco, or you know, different counties over. So that's very, very unsettling. So if you have anybody that's sick in your family and they need, they need an ICU bed, there's no telling where they will end up at because that's how bad it is right here in Florida because of the high COVID rates going up. All right, guys, that's my final pass, and I don't see any nicks so far. So pretty decent shave. Let me rinse my face, guys. Be back for the post shave. All right guys, I'm back for the post shave. So I'll be using the aftershave that came with the soap or that goes with the soap. And I'm not sure you can see that, but this is the Bear Storm Men Lather, Lavender Post Shave Aftershave. So I actually didn't have to aftershave with this for a while. And I, had, I couldn't find this anywhere on the secondary market, but I found this at Pastor's Pharmacy last year when I went to, when I went to New York last year. So, Awesome that I found this there. This I'm not sure they they probably had like maybe two bottles on the shelf, but I'm glad I found this to go with the uh, soap because I would love the scent of this this lavender scent. All right, let, let me go ahead and let's shake this up. Yeah, it definitely smells very very nice. Yeah, definitely nice lavender scent. So the soap and the aftershave. I'd say the scent is probably about a 7 out of 10 on scent strength. Both of them are pretty, uh, about average, probably above medium. So these are pretty decent uh, scent strengths on, these, on the soap and aftershave. But I do love this stuff. This stuff is awesome. And I'm not sure if it's, it doesn't feel like it's um, alcohol based. It feels like it's witch hazel based. So definitely, definitely soothing to the face. So guys, pretty nice shave. Pretty baby bomb smooth. I do feel a little bit of bristle right here, but really not too much. 
The uh, razor did a great job. The soap did an outstanding job with the slickness and the cushion. But anyway, my recap, my shave, I used the Barrister Man Lather Lavender Shave Soap. Not made, not made anymore, but man, this stuff is awesome. So if you guys are listening, Barrister Man, please bring this line back. I love this line of soap. This is a great, great line, especially for budget shavers. But definitely, definitely a great soap. And my razor I used was the Parker 87R. So this is pretty much a clone of the Gillette British Aristocrat. Just a pretty, just a very nice razor. Just very, very nice to look at. Uh, great shaver, by the way. Definitely with the Persona Platinum Blade, which I used. And that was the first use of this blade. So that, that was a shave, guys. And I used also the AP Shave Co. Hulk brush or summer brush handle with the Sinbad 26mm knot. I'm telling you guys, this knot is outstanding. Great synthetic knot. Andrew, you hit it out of the park with this knot. Awesome knot. So guys, that's my shave. And I'm supposed to tag two other people for this challenge. So I'm going to tag my other Florida brother and also who's doing great, making great videos out there. And it's Melly Mel Shaves. So brother, if you're watching, you are tagged for the Canlight Shave Challenge. And I'm going to tag someone else I haven't tagged before who I started watching recently. And his name is Thomas the Shaver. And I believe he does mostly straight razor shaves. So I don't know how this that'll work with, with Canlight, but man, you are tagged if you can do the shave, shave challenge. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a good week. Hope you guys stay safe. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.